Hey, how you doing? I'm Mark from Ray Screws, and when I did the Fuji Helixicon track set review, it reminded me that I had a big box of Speed Racer die casts from various companies that I bought at a collector's show. It must have been in 2014 or 2015. I forget exactly. It was one of the shows to where they would have a big sales area, or you can buy, sell, and trade up in the rooms. So down in the sales area, somebody had these Jada, I think they were haulers or something. I think four different ones. And they wanted $75 for the set. And I'm thinking, I don't, really, I don't even remember seeing those. They look really nice. Really nice details. I didn't even know if it's worth $75 for the set. Uh, I'd like to get them, but first thing you do, do your homework. Don't just give them $75. And next thing you find out, you could have got all four for 20 or something. You know, who knows? So I thought I'll just have to wait. And, you know, and you put that in the tickler file to... Maybe research later on, pick it up later on. Well, at the same show, I go upstairs, and sure enough, in one of the rooms, uh, this fella, and I know this guy, and I don't want to say because it's, you know, I don't want to embarrass him. You know, there's times when you want to get rid of your stuff, you don't care. You just get rid of it, right? I just hit my mic. Uh, you just get rid of it, and uh, you know what? I had a, a space. I had a Dragon's Lair coin-operated machine. It was worth over a thousand dollars, right? The thing broke down again, and you know what? I donated it to this guy who helps people with the laser disc uh, hobby. Dragon's Lair ran off of laser disc. I just donated it. Yeah, I could have went through the hassle of trying to sell it and whatnot. Then I'd have to try to arrange delivery or crate it up, and it's just not worth it. I just donated it to this guy. But uh, I take a loss, I take a loss. I, got, I want the space. So maybe this guy wants to get rid of this stuff. So he had $100 on the box. He wanted 100 bucks. Well, I walk into the room. When I walk into the room, he's sitting over in the corner on the bed. He has a friend sitting in that corner. And then on the floor right here is that box. And there's a guy going through it, you know. And he goes, well, I'll give you, and he says, I don't know, $60 or $70. And so I'm leaning over and I'm looking, and some of that stuff I already have, but those haulers were in that box. I had a whole bunch of stuff in the box. And this guy lowballs them, $60. So my acquaintance, he says, uh, you know, $100 is fair, you know. And then the guy says $70. And then I started getting nervous that um, the guy's going to start negotiating. And I'm looking at that box. Are you kidding me? What's in that box is well worth over a hundred dollars. I don't even know why this guy's taking a chance. I reach in my pocket, I pull out a hundred dollar bill, and behind him he can't see. I don't want to interrupt the transaction, but I'm thinking, you know what? Fair's fair. He wanted a hundred. I pull out a hundred and I hold it up. Well, the guy sitting in the corner says, "Hey, hey, he'll give you a hundred bucks." So, the, so the guy says, "You know what? Never mind." He goes, "I, I wanted a hundred for it. He's giving me a hundred, and he'll just take it." So it's one of those things to where sometimes you want to bargain to try to get the best price. And then there's other times to where you better realize the great bargain that is being offered. And you might let the fish slip away. So in this case, let me go ahead and show you this stuff. I did the Speed Racer videos and talked about different brands that had die cast, Jada. I don't think there's any Johnny Lightning in there. But Mattel had different offerings as well. So let me go ahead and go through this box and show you some of the other Speed Racer products that were released around the 2008 Speed Racer movie. I kind of hate going through this box because everything's packed in there perfectly. I know I'm not going to be able to get them all back in there, but you know what? You'll get to see some products that were released at the time. And if you've been to Kmart Collectors Day, yeah, this is this is a big master case. And Kmart would have four inners inside, and it's the inners that we get to go through. So that's why uh, you probably recognize this box. As a matter of fact, let me flip this around. That's, that's what it says. Do not open. It's 2013. So it was sometime after that part. Um, anyways, so let's see what's in here. This one, this is pretty cool. This was a uh, Hot Wheels offering, launching Big Rig. Now, somebody was asking me, is this in the movie? Uh, I, don't, I don't think it was in the movie, but this little place that you can flip it around. And I got another one. Like I said, I have some of this stuff already, but for 100 bucks, I'll take the box. So 
So this is kind of neat. I'll have to, I'll have to re review that at some time. Mattel had these little tiny cars. Uh, let's see. Um, so this is like a Hot Wheel size, right? These are a little one, not 64, one, I don't know what scale they call them, but they're really small. Really, so there's the GRX. Speed Racer might be in here. I don't remember what stores offered these. I pass it up. You know, I'm not a fan of this car. I might have I might have bought the Speed Racer because uh, Mach 5 because I like Mach 5. Here's Johnny Lightning's version of Speed Racer. Very nice. Got rubber tires, opening hood. Nice release. I'm um, pretty sure that Johnny Lightning. Oh yeah, Johnny Lightning definitely had more cars. There was like six cars. I'm looking in there. It looks like there's something stuck. Oh, it's the dash. It looks like the dash kind of popped out. But anyways, there's a uh, Johnny Lightning version of the Mach 5. Here's a Jada version of the Mach 5. And, you know, Jada has their own style, so it's a little bit different. Jada likes to put these uh, skinny rubber band tires on there. So that's what they did with their release. Here's the different four different models. Snake Oilers, different. Mattel didn't release this version of the car. Yeah, Speaking of that, Prince Cabala, Mattel's version doesn't even look like that either. I don't remember if this was Prince Cabala or not. Anyways, let's go ahead. Let's keep moving. This, these are the haulers that I was talking about. See, look, there's four different ones. And I don't remember seeing these. I don't know how much they were originally. I have no idea. But uh, four for $75. Then I turn around, and I'm pretty sure all four are in this box. I get the whole box for $100. That was definitely the deal. Looks like you can move out the flatbed, pull it out. Mm, it says up. I don't know if it moves up, but anyways. Uh, these are going to stay in the package. Uh, I'm not opening these things. Here's a large scale. I got to get this one on display. Oh, we got a little uh, crank, but that's okay. Displays nicely. Who made this? This is a Jada offering. 124 scale. Very nice. Classic speed racer, diecast pullback radio control. Uh, I think that's, I think that's. Uh, oh, collect them all. These are some of the other things that uh, Jada made. These kind of uh, offerings. Nice. You have a separate steering wheel. You got a chrome steering wheel, chrome gear shift knob. A little hard to see. Got something up on the dash. Uh, look in the middle there. It's kind of hard to see. You got a, a rear view mirror. <laughs> Looks like a rear view, rear view mirror right there. Very nice. Take a look chrome tailpipes now these these were these were target so you have your chrome Mach 4 Mach 5 Mach 6 I don't know if there was different packages or he just has three of the same looks the same same wheels same same wheels somebody lost their cap Here's another one. There's a Mach 5. There's a little version of the Mach 5. These things are really small. Look at, this. Look at the size of my thumb. So let's keep going. Here's the other Jadas. There's a Snake Oiler. Oh, these have rubber tires, by the way. Um, let's see. I think they're a metal body. I don't remember if they were metal based, though. There's Prince Kabbalah. Black Tiger. Was Black Tiger on the back? I'll look in a second. Here's the six. I remember buying these two, but I never bought the other ones. I don't remember if I bought that one. It's kind of like an indie style Mach 5. Here it is, as a matter of fact. This one has plastic wheels. I think this is the only one that had plastic wheels out of that batch of eight cars. So um, I believe that all eight are in the package in this box. Here's a basic. Mattel release, plastic body, metal base. Good, I got another Delilah. Here's a five pack. Let me look at this. Mm, four pack. I don't know who sold this, but you see, you have different accessories in here. I don't. I don't think these accessories were any different than what was being offered with these here. I don't remember this at all. I remember this pack, but I, I can't remember if it was exclusive to certain stores or not. Hey, got another one. Is there two Mark Fives? Fantastic. Oh, no, this one's race wrecked. If you look on the bottom, it kind of has a little bit of a dirt, a little bit up on the hood, on the nose cone. 
It's not very pronounced. Not like the uh, not like the diecast with the uh, diecast versions when they had the race wreck versions. It was very pronounced. This one's a Johnny Lightning limited to one of 7,500. First shot. So what they did is when they first made them, they made 7,500 in this uh, bare metal, which we also know as Zamac. So there is the limited edition. First shot, Racer X Zamac. And since this is Johnny Lightning, they do have plastic tires and rubber tires, but I'm looking at these and these are rubber tire versions. You can pause that if you'd like to read it. Four available. I don't know if all four are in the box. Here's another one of the haulers. Very cool. Excellent display pieces. Yeah, I'm not going to, unless I, unless I get another one of these, I, unless I have an extra one, uh, I'm not opening these up. Unless, uh, no, I got tape. I don't want to open them up. There's the Mach 5. He has his hauler. International Durastar is the cab. These are the four that I really wanted. Got all four, and he had them. I said, wow, I'm not messing around. 100 bucks, here you go. No questions asked. That one looks pretty good. Collectibles. Easy, you know. There's the uh, snake oil. Hey, that's an error. That's not snake oiler. Big. I better put this somewhere else because I might accidentally mess it up. You got, got the wrong name on the card. Snake Oiler should be. Uh, this is race car with spear hooks. Yeah, it's supposed to be him right there. Here's another Jada piece. J A D A. You have the uh, shooting star. Look at that pointy nose. Looks like women's shoes, how they have that big uh, pointy nose. Or some cowboys, you know. There's, a, there's Jada's version of the F1 shooting star. Who was the other one that I showed? I think it was Johnny Lightning, right? So this one has a uh, plastic tires. Here's some Hot Wheels 2 packs. So let's see, exclusive Ice Caves Racer X. So this Racer X with the white wheels and the white uh, white uh, paint right there, that was exclusive to this 2 pack. The Mach 5 is a regular issue. Mass produced. I mean, we're talking mass produced. Here's a Hot Wheels Speed Racing. Two-piece wheels. So what's the, what that means is that you have the center piece, the chrome part, and then you have a second piece for the outside, which if they're going to do a two-piece wheel, that just should be rubber. But I am not sure. It's not even really rubber anyways. It's synthetic rubber. You have to look at that Hot Wheels piece. Here's the Mach 6 from Hot Wheels. Mach 5. Again, two-piece wheels. Four different ones. It says collect all four, and all four are in this box. Two-piece wheels, Mach 4. Got those overhead lights, sorry. Diecast Mach 5, two-piece wheels. Is that the same one? You might have had multiples. You know how it is. You like something, you get an extra. Maybe you're going to open one, and then maybe you're going to keep one in the package. Right, they're both the same. I don't see any of them being like a race damaged or anything. Mach 4, this clear version, they call it the Phantom Mach 4. That clear version of the Mach 4 was only in this package, this two pack. I don't remember these are two packs. Yeah, they're definitely not exclusive to any store. Here's the family dollar sign, $4.99. Racer X Mach 5, again, this is, I showed you that one already, who fell to the side. Ice Caves Mach 5 with the white wheels. Here's a Jada GRX, nice and shiny. And we have a couple things left. He, some, he had some uh, Redline Club buttons. These are a reissue, these are not uh, original. There's another Mach 4. Anyway, that's a look at my uh, pile. Uh, yeah, these will be put to good use in the future in videos, and some will just wind up being on display for the collection. Were you collecting at that time, back in about 2008? How, mu how much of this stuff did you have in your collection? How much, how much of it are you going to wind up looking for yourself? I have, a race, I have a playlist for my Speed Racer videos. It's down in the description if you'd like to see all of those, including that review of the Fuji Helexicon track set from Hot Wheels. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.